Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Alex Perry and today I'm going to talk to you about how you can start crushing your YouTube goals in 2021 by using Notion to help run and manage your channel. Let's get to it. Now before I break down my whole Notion setup here, you might be wondering what exactly Notion is. Well Notion is a productivity tool that helps you think more clearly and get more organized. From note taking to road mapping to to-do lists to calendars, Notion has a ton of features. So essentially, I'm going to show you how you can use this tool to manage your entire content creation strategy. It will help you plan and keep track of both upcoming and past YouTube videos, social media posts, and how they might be connected to certain YouTube videos, keep track of sponsors and partnerships, and so much more. Now, this video isn't going to be a technical how-to of how to actually go in here and set all these things up. It's more of an overview of how you can set up your dashboard. So, the different sections, the different tools, the different things that are available to you that can make it easy for you to manage your YouTube channel. So once again, this isn't going to be a technical how-to. I'm just going to be going over an overview of the basics of how you can do things. But there are tons of awesome tutorials out there online that actually teach you, like, you know, exactly how to set up each little individual section here. Now, if you don't want to figure out how to do all of this yourself and set this all up, but do find something like this useful, I have released my own Notion setup as a template that you can purchase. So later in this video, I'll be talking to you about how you can access and purchase that template. All right, so let's dive right into this. So first things first, I'm going to cover the master to-do list. Now, I think every content creator should have a to-do list, and if you don't already have one, you should probably take advantage of one right now. I used to always write my list on a combination of sticky notes, notebooks, and whiteboards, and things were all over the place. So having a massive to-do list that can be organized by priority of when it needs to be done, as well as label them with different categories as to what type of to-do item they are, is very important. So you can create a table in Notion with different headings with the task name, if it's done or not, its priority, the type of item it is, the status of the item like doing, done, or urgent, and even if it is related to items located in other sections of your dashboard, like if the task is related to a specific YouTube video or social media posts you're working on. And then you can sort this entire list by priority so things that are due by the end of the day can be displayed at the top of the list, then end of the week, and then any time. You can simply do this by adding sort filters. All right, so now we're going to move on to the next section, and that is the YouTube dashboard. This is where you keep track of and organize all of your YouTube videos both upcoming and past videos. So if you click on this section to expand it, you'll notice all these different sections within the dashboard. These are all different views or different filters for how to display what content shows in the table. So let's take a look at the main one, all content. This is basically the master list of every YouTube video that is either an idea in the works or is already done. So anytime I have an idea for a video, I'll add the item to this table and give it a status of idea. The other statuses are editing, in production, writing, done, published and scrapped. So as you go ahead and either decide to work on a video or entirely scrap it, you can just easily change the status as you go along. This is important for not only being able to see what video is at what stage at a quick glance, but displaying only videos of a certain status. So if you want to see what videos are currently being written, just click on over here and choose being written. This is a view that I've set up to specifically show only items that are classified with the status of writing. So that's what all these other views are in this list over here. These are all ways to show only specific types of videos. Another classification type you can give your videos is what type of video it is. So if you do different types of videos on your channel, this would be a way to categorize them. So for example, on my channel I do lighting tutorials, ads from home, effects tutorials, product reviews, and so on. So this is how you would classify which video fits under which type. So if you want to see just your product reviews, you can click right over here and just choose that option. So once again, these views were all set up by myself, what I thought was going to be useful for me, but you can do absolutely anything you want for this part. The other useful data in the table for each video is having a checkbox for if it is done or not. If it's paid or not, a date you need to send it for approval, if it's a sponsorship, a checkbox for if it's been approved, a production and publish date, who the sponsor is if there is one, which connects to our sponsors database, and if it's related to a specific social media post, which connects to our socials database. Now I know some of this might sound complicated, but trust me, once you get going with this and start setting it up, it's actually quite easy and simple and very intuitive. The last thing you can do is add a checkbox for if it is a current focus, so you can then display only videos that are considered your current focus. I like to plan my next five to 10 videos at a time, so this is when I would check these things off, check these items off on this list, so I can easily access the more important videos that I'm currently focusing on. Whew, that was a big one right there. I hope you're still with me, but trust me, there's lots more cool stuff here, so let's just get right back to it. Now, before I show you the other sections that are in my Notion dashboard here, I just wanna quickly go over setting up a YouTube video that you are currently planning. 
So as you add a video to the main database here, you can then go into this item and actually start planning your video in here. So I've created a page template here within my dashboard. So whenever I create a new item to add to the main table, I create that page with my YouTube video template, which just adds these specific sections to the page here. So I have a little area for notes and what format I want the videos to be in. I have a section where I can paste the YouTube videos that I'm using for inspiration for this video, which is displayed in line right here. I have a section for a shot list, so as I'm filming, I can check off each item as I shoot them. And I have a section here where I can bring some, some title ideas for the video, since I may not fully know what I want it to be when I'm working on the video. Then below, it is the main format or outline of the video. So this is where I would plan all my talking points for my video, whether it's in bullet points or if it's a full script. So this is the bread and butter of the whole YouTube filming setup. This is what I use when I'm actually filming my YouTube videos. So I would normally have, you know, my iPad or a different device off camera with my script on there are talking bullet points and I'll just kind of look at it and then I start talking. So it's very, very useful to have something like this, have this whole outline for your video before you start filming. Now, not everybody likes to film with a full out talking script. Uh, a lot of people do like to use bullet points. I kind of flip flop on which one I think is better, but ultimately you can do whatever is best for you. All right, so next we're gonna jump over to the socials dashboard. Uh, so this is similar to the YouTube video dashboard in that you can keep track of social media content you will be or have already posted. So if you like to plan out your Instagram or Twitter posts, you can organize them in this database here. This is also great for if you have a brand deal or sponsorship specifically for something like an Instagram post and keeping track of it as it is related to a specific YouTube video. So the items in the table here are similar, having a checkbox for if it is done or not, if it is paid or not, what the post name is, what the status is, such as published, done, writing your idea, a date to send for approval, a published date, who the sponsor is, if there is one, and relation to YouTube video if there is one. So this is very, very similar, but it is a little more straightforward than the YouTube video section. You can also create different views of different categorizations of this table if you want to, but I decided not to here since YouTube is my biggest focus right now. And next, we're gonna jump into the sponsors dashboard. So if you have any sponsorships or partnerships that are upcoming or current ones, or even ones that are from the past that you were done with, this is where you can keep track of all of this and have it organized in one place. So before setting this up on Notion, I never really had a great way of keeping track of all my sponsorships, all my contact information, you know, all the information I have from the different people I talked to. I would have random sticky notes, random, you know, notes jotted down in different notebooks from all over the place. I would have to search through my email to just find someone's name and I couldn't always remember what their name was. So I'm just kind of terrible with names. So my information for my contacts, for my sponsors, my partners was all over the place. So that is not an efficient way of doing things. So now I have this database of all my sponsors and partners. So this is a good way of not only keeping track of current sponsors, but people or companies that you want to reach out to. So the different views I've created for this database are all sponsors, two contacts, which is for potential sponsors I'm interested in contacting, negotiating for if I'm currently in talks with one, partnered for if we've successfully partnered and have a current project in the works, no response for if after multiple tries I never heard back from anyone, and finally rejected for if we weren't able to make a deal. So if I want to quickly look at all the sponsors I want to reach out to, I would just click on the two contact section right here, or if I want to see everyone I'm currently partnered with, I just click on partnered and easily see that list. The other items in the table are if it is a paid sponsorship or not, who the sponsor is, the current status of it, what type of sponsorship it is, such as for YouTube or social media, what type of product or service a sponsor offers, a link to the specific item or service you want to promote, the name of your contact of the company, their email address, the social media handles for the sponsor, when they were first contacted, where you contacted the group, such as email, Instagram, Twitter, etc. And finally, dates for first follow-up, second follow-up, and third follow-up if you didn't get a hold of anyone at the company. You can also see all the YouTube videos or social media posts that are connected to each sponsor. So if you've done multiple videos or posts with a specific sponsor, you can easily keep track of and see all of those posts. So this is all a great, great way to keep track of your sponsors and partners. All right, now we're gonna move on to the inspiration master list. So this is an area where I keep track of a bunch of different things that inspire me daily. So sometimes when I'm watching other YouTube videos, it gives me an idea for videos I wanna make. So whether it's the topic of the video or something specific they did in the video that I liked, I just wanna remember this, I wanna keep track of it. So this is a good spot to kind of dump all these different posts that I see that inspired me in some way. So I've created separate pages for each type of YouTube video I make, which matches the type of video in my main YouTube dashboard table, where I can then paste links for specific types of videos so that they're organized and easy to reference. So if I click on the lighting tutorials, you'll see how I have different sections for YouTube videos, Instagram posts, tweets, and just straight up links to websites. So I can directly embed those items on this page where it is displayed in line. So this is very, very useful. 
And the final section of this whole YouTube master dashboard here is the schedule. So this has two different purposes for me. So the first is to show me a quick view of my weekly schedule. Working for myself for many years now, I've always found it more difficult to stay focused and stay on task if I didn't have a specific schedule to be following. So if I just wake up in the morning and I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing that day or even that week, I can find it really confusing. I'm not as motivated. It's just a little bit hard to concentrate and figure out what to do. So I've essentially outlined what my entire week should look like with different tasks at different times of each day. The second purpose is to show a monthly calendar with any specific dates that I've input in other databases. So if I had a date I needed to send a video to a sponsor by or a date I needed to publish a video by, these would all show up here providing I add dates for them. And there we have it. That is a general overview of what my YouTube dashboard looks like. This is just a basic overview and outline of how you can use Notion to manage and run different aspects of your YouTube channel or your social media or content creation business to be more organized and be successful going into the rest of 2021. But if all that seems too complicated for you to set up, like I mentioned earlier, this could be a lot for you to just figure out and dive into. I'm not going to lie, this took me quite a while to fine tune this to set us all up the way I wanted to. I originally got inspiration from Sari Dici, rhymes with peachy. Is that how it is? Is that how it goes? I think so. Um, I just watched a bunch of her videos. I noticed she had a Notion dashboard um, before she actually kind of broke it down. Um, I just looked at her videos, paused them. I was looking through every little aspect of what was in her YouTube dashboard and it just took me a long time to set this up and really figure out how I want it to be. And it really did evolve over the course of the past year or so. My first version of this is not what it looks like today. So I did build up on that. I kept adding to it and changing things as I figured out what works best for me. So if you don't want to spend that time to set that up in that way, I have made my own dashboard here, a template which you can purchase. Now you will be able to fully customize this. So if you don't want the same headings as I have, if you don't want the same categories as I do, that's all very easy to just go in and change. So I have included a little how-to guide on how you can go about customizing this to make this work for you. But trust me, if you use a template, you will be up and running in no time and it's a lot easier than just fully setting this up on your own. Trust me guys, I've spent a lot of time playing around with Notion for both my work and my personal life and it has changed my life. I use it all the time in my personal life as well. It helps keep me and my wife organized for our meal planning, for other tasks to do as we have to do. So it is just such a useful tool to be using all around for your work and for your personal life. This video is not sponsored by Notion. This is just something that I've grown to love and I really want to share this with you guys because I think it is something that will really help you guys out. So if you are interested in checking out Notion and you don't want to set it up yourself, you could check out my template. It's linked down below where you can purchase it. And because you guys are so awesome and you guys are part of the crew here, I'm offering a 50% discount on the template. So if you subscribe to my channel, if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you can just shoot me a direct message and I will send you the promo code to save 50% off of the template. And that takes us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you start trying out to use Notion to help you because this is something that will make you more successful, make you more productive with your YouTube channel and your content creation strategies heading into the rest of 2021. I know this could have been a little bit of a long video, but if you made it all the way to the end here and you haven't left already, you are awesome. So do me a favor and drop me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite pizza is. That's right. I want to know what your favorite pizza is. Mine would have to be pizza with Italian sausage, grilled zucchini, mushrooms, and onions. That's right, good old fashioned Italian pizza. Anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button down below and drop me a comment letting me know what you thought. Also, while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you get notified every single time I drop new videos like this one. Trust me, there's lots more cool stuff coming your way, so you're gonna wanna stay tuned. I'm Alex Perry, thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya!